I know competition gets harder, but remember, I only want to get 40 deals. I don't want to get 3,000 deals. I just want to get 40 deals. No matter the competition, my 40 deals will come to me. Again, I'm consistent. I try to keep my really, really lean business where I can still be in the business full time. 700 bucks is nothing to run a business that can make you seven, eight $800,000 a year. If I don't make 40 deals, let's say my average is $21,000 per deal. That's 840K. That's my <clears throat> projected for the year 840K in deals. 40 deals, that's it. If you run it at 700 a month, that's 8,400 bucks a year in expense. Continuously doing all my channels of marketing talking to clients, this wave that is going to benefit us as far as the people that are creative, the people can ask the hard questions. They know how to talk to clients. You're going to be able to acquire more properties. If I want to wholesale these properties out, I got to make sure that I'm aware of the money that the buyer needs to make also on the back end. And if I know that I can't make the, the 20K in an wholesale, I'll buy it. I'll basically owner finance it out. So again, that's my target, 40 deals. And I have it on my top. I've done 11 deals so far. And I have like eight in escrow. So again, 40 deals, that's all I want. Keep it simple. 40 deals at 20K, 800,000. That's it. And remember, consistently every single year, if anything happens, I can just float for the next two years while things get back. But I know for a fact, it's going to be a great opportunity to be able to acquire a lot of properties in this time, especially if you know how to talk to clients. And that's where the depth comes in.